And there they go into turn number one. This is the uh, open class. Magnuson off to a great start, and he's doing this as deja vu. He's doing what he exactly did on the last uh, race, just motoring away from everybody. Boy, Magnuson uh, really coming on strong here as of late. coming down here with the race all to himself. Randy Redman running in second spot. And then Kirk Hill running in third spot and running in fourth spot, 277. I don't know who that was. Let's get the 750 guys. Here they come out of turn number nine. and just blowing everybody away, going on that back straightaway at about 140 miles an hour. Here he comes out of turn number nine. We're going to get a lap time in this guy. I can't believe how fast Magnuson's going down through here. Here he comes, down to complete another lap. awfully familiar. Looks like that could be James Dumais' bike. There goes uh, Randy Redmond in second spot. Then Kirk Hill in third. Boy, Kirk Hill doing a good ride up there in third. Cam Walsh is in the 750 class. He Stern in second spot. Dwayne Summers now breaking away from a little bit of traffic, and he is now starting to chase down Stern. In fact, now you're going to probably see a pass because now as they go into the twisty bits, Dwayne Summers has got a very nimble motorcycle, and he's crawling all over Stern for the pass. If he he could notch uh, Stern down in the third place, this really hurts Stern in the uh, points chase for that AFM number one title chase. Tommy Lynch pulling him back into the pits and out of the race. One of your early contenders has pulled it off the track and out of the race. It looks it's some sort of a tire problem. He went immediately over to the Michelin van, and they're discussing the problem right now. Boy, Magnuson on a tear. We got the clock running on him right now. We'll get a time and a average speed around here. He should be approaching close to 97, 98 miles an hour. Magnuson looking over his shoulder and doesn't see anybody behind him. Uh, 134.3, 95.3 miles an hour for Magnuson out in front. 95.3 miles an hour for your leader. And now we're looking for this battle for uh, the lead in the 750 class.
Chuck Gray is coming out here. He still, still looks like he's got the lead. And he does. Uh-oh. We've got Summers at second spot. Stern's way back there in third. Stern must have got into a wild slide or something, but he's way off the pace in third spot. So really, uh, your top three guys going for that AFM number one plate haven't really proven themselves out here today. A lot of good riders coming up and beating them uh, to the punch here today. And it's really uh, throwing the whole point chase. It's just throwing it all into a computer. Robert Morrison went off the track over there in turn number five, but he got back on again. It's still Chuck Graves, Dwayne Summers, Jeff Stern, and behind them, 65. And that is Kenneth Davis on a Yamaha running in uh, fourth spot. coming down here to get the halfway flag. Still clicking off laps around the 94, 95 mile an hour range. Kavanaugh, it looks like he ended the race, but we haven't seen Scott Kavanaugh out there. He'd be up amongst the leaders, but we do have Chuck Graves coming up on some lap traffic, and that's going to slow him down a little bit. Here they come. Down out of turn number nine. In fact, look at this. Dwayne Summers is going to try and make a move on the lead here. As Graves go down, goes down into some lap traffic, Dwayne Summers now just outside that. Oh, Graves is going to try to make a risky move. He got around two of the left riders, but boy, going to turn number one, that was a little bit squirrely, but he got around a couple of them, and now he's straightened himself out. Graves starting to uh, kind of motor on a little bit there out in front, leaving uh, Dwayne Summers in second spot, but boy, lo and behold, Jeff Stern back there in a very troubled third place. I want to mention Wes Coon up here in the booth. Uh, Wes has got a, a school on uh, November the 23rd out here at Willow, right? Wes Cooley out here today is spectating the races. The uh, two-time uh, AMA Superbike National Champion has got a school out here. Uh, sometime in December, we'll talk to him about it here in a minute. that 750 group in the uh, running back there in fifth and sixth. Chris Crew and Mike Hunter uh, battling it out for sixth and seventh back in that 750 class. Really the only race on the track right now.
Sidecars, up to the pre-grid, please. Sidecars, up to the pre-grid. Okay, sidecars up to the pre-grid, please. Let's get the sidecars up to the pre-grid. Stewart right now in third spot. Remember, he finished second in a race earlier today, so uh, Stewart hasn't really won one yet. Look at this, though. On uh, the white flag lap now, it looks like uh, Dwayne Summers on the Ducati is going to try and overhaul. Kurt Graves running in front right now, going around turn number two. Chuck Graves right now going out <laughs> in front. Chuck Graves with a slight lead, but look at Summers going on that Ducati. He's got a lighter bike, and going around the tight stuff around here, he's going to be all over your leader. There you go in the three on the last lap. Go up in the three and four. Let's see where Summers is going to try to make the pass. He come up on a lap rider. Summers gets a good drive out of turn number four, and is all over Graves for the lead right now, and Graves is being held up by a lap rider. They go around the outside. And if Summers is going to do it, he's going to have to show some horsepower on that twin-cylinder Ducati as they go down the back straightaway for the last time. And he is showing it. Look at that. He's in the draft of Chuck Graves. And look at this. Uh, the twin-cylinder is all over the wall tie as they go into turn number eight. He may be able to draft him down this front straightaway. He shouldn't have the horsepower to do it, but it looks like he may try it. They're coming up with a checkered flag. It is Graves and Summers. Suzuki and Ducati. Here they come out of nine. And it's just too much horsepower, I believe, and it's going to be Graves taking the win. Summer's finishing second, but more importantly, Jeff Stern way off the pace in third. And it looks like 9.54 uh, beat out that bunch uh, running for fourth, fifth, and sixth. Randy Redman will take home uh, fourth. Uh, winning it overall, uh, an easy win at, at that was uh, Magnuson. Very easy win for Magnuson. That's the second time he's done that today. Second spot was uh, Kirk Hill. He finished second. Good ride by Kirk Hill. In third spot, Antonio Atwater finishing third. In fourth spot, first in class, Chuck, Chuck Graves. In fifth spot overall, second in class, 713. That is going to be Dwayne Summers. Then sixth overall, third in class, was uh, Jeff Stern. In seventh spot, overall, fourth in that open class was Randy Redmond. Then in uh, eighth spot overall, bike number 65, that was uh, Ken Davis, an AMA licensed rider, finishing fourth in that uh, 750 class. In ninth spot was bike number 575, John Miller on the Kawasaki. You know what the problem is?